Greetings, my fellow Fright Fiends. It's your buddy Boogeyman Ben here for a new episode of Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. And today's video is another horror comic haul. Um, I'm doing quite a few of these more recently, but I uh, went to Flying Colors Comics today because they were having an independent um, artist event there. So it was like independent uh, comic book artists and uh, uh, just wanted to go uh, because there was an artist there that um, did the art and wrote the story for this book that I'm reading right now called Nocturnals. And I showcased it in my last um, horror comic haul. Uh, let me showcase it right here. So he was going to be there. His name is Dan Brereton. Um, this was the book right here. And I got him to got to meet him and talk to him a little bit. A uh, very nice man. And said he's doing another uh, one in this series, but I had him autograph the book for me. Let's see if it can show up on camera here, but there it is right there. See it right there. So I was really happy to meet him. And this book is fantastic. I absolutely love it. I'm almost done reading it. Again, I like I said in my last uh, Comic Hall segment, because of my job search, I've been really behind on my books. But uh, with uh, the exception of it, which I'm trying to finish now before the movie comes out, and I don't know if it's going to happen... Um, I'm reading this one as well, but this is this is a very great graphic novel. I love the artwork, uh, love the story, very cool and very awesome to meet the artist uh, that made it. And I'm looking forward to the next book that he puts out. Um, the other things I got, I'll showcase real quickly. Um, picked up some more X Files books. I pretty much my saver's pretty much cleared out because the last time I went there, I spent a lot, a lot of money. So just got another um, X Men Origins. This one is number four. This is another one where it's the cool cover because it's, you got, put these down for a second. So you got Mulder on one side there, and then if you flip it, it's, uh, you got Scully right there. And I think it's really cool. And there are different books, uh, different stories on either side. So you flip it over there, it's about Scully. Over here, it's about Mulder. So I really like that style. Um, the other book I got is one that I should have picked up a long time ago. It was the Christmas special from last year. So this is the 2016 Christmas special. It looks to be an X-Files-esque take on uh, Christmas Carol, which I thought was really interesting. And it looks like, I think, uh, Cancer Man is supposed to be like Jacob Marley, which I think is really cool. But again, haven't read it, just picked it up today. Um, and then the and then the last book I picked up, regular comic book that I picked up, was The Howling Number 2, The Revenge of the Werewolf Queen. Um, I read the first one. It's absolutely fantastic because it is a direct sequel to The Howling. And it features characters that survived that movie. And uh, absolutely love the first book. Cannot wait to read the second book. And the art in this is fantastic. Um, I recommend you guys picking it up. I haven't seen the first issue anymore at the comic book store, so it's probably sold out. But uh, just to showcase some of the art in here, it's really fantastic. And it's very gory. I'm surprised they get away with some of this stuff, which is awesome. You see right there. Yeah, absolutely love this book. I'm so happy that this... I hope this, is, this series goes on for a long time because it's really well done. Uh, there's been some uh, comic book series that have been adapted from popular films, and one in particular was The Lost Boys they, that they did this year, and I really did not like that book at all. I just was not a fan of that storyline. But this one, The Howling, is just fantastic. The other thing I want to showcase that I got today was... Um, now this is, I have the original printing of this, and I showcased it in my tribute to George Romero, who passed away several weeks ago, and uh, you know, I wanted to get the new printing of this because my old printing has just had it. It's old, and it's just, it's more of a timepiece for me. It's something that, you know, I remember having as a, as a young kid and holds a really near dear place in my heart but I've never been able to read it because it's so fragile and I'm scared if I turn the pages they're going to all fall out so I picked up the new release of Stephen King's Creep Show. Um, this was fantastic. Uh, very happy to have this. Of course it film di directed by George Romero and of course which is also sad that uh, art by Bernie Rydstrom who passed away this year as well so we lost Romero and Rydstrom uh, very tragic, uh, horrible, both lost, both the cancer, um, which is just pisses me off, but I'm so happy to have this. Um, it's a really nice release. It, it's very well done. I love the way that it's bound. Um, and then I love the, you know, little, this is new on the back where it just talks about, you know, it shows a new picture of Stephen King, talks about the different stories 
in the magazine here and it's just fantastic absolutely love this uh, if you haven't picked this up i definitely recommend doing it the art in this is just fantastic bernie reidstrom's art is just amazing um just really brings back memories of reading this for the first time when i was a kid so yeah just amazing stuff here just so happy to have this i always remember this image right here a kid I was always curious how that was gonna look in the movie and it freaked me out when I saw it for the first time just so many great memories so yeah absolutely so happy to have this uh, something I've been looking for for a couple months now I remember it was released recently um, again this is the paperback I can't remember if they put it out on hardback but I uh, was happy to just get this version so now I have one that I can flip through every once in a while and I can keep my other one safe and sound where I have it um, in my cabinet so yeah, some excellent books that I picked up today, and I'm just curious what everyone thinks about uh, the horror books that I picked up today. Uh, please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. would love to hear from everyone. And as always, thanks so much for watching Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy. Stay scared. Peace.